What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 38 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best setups. Our special guest is going to be Nova Tech. He'll be showing off his very sleek and minimalistic setup that I'm really digging. I think you guys are going to like it too, as well as all the other setups we got going on in this episode. So let's start off episode 38. First up, I am loving the look of this setup here. We have the ultra wide double stacked monitors here on a very unique looking desk that is actually wall mounted with a nice walnut finish. This is looking really awesome. Getting into some of the peripherals, you can see he has the Audio Engine A2 Plus Studio Monitor speakers there. Uh, for his main gear, he has the Apple Magic Keyboard and the Apple Magic Mouse 2 on a very unique looking uh, like graffiti-like extended mouse mat. You can see some docks and USB hubs, the Elgato HD60 amongst other things. But all together for a main desk setup, this one is awesome. I'm loving those monitors as well. Those are the LG 29UM67 monitors, again stacked on top for a ton of real estate under the desk just to confirm yes it is wall mounted very great cable management as well and over there to the side underneath the desk is his apple airport extreme a two terabyte thunderbolt external hard drive and a mac pro moving over to his entertainment setup right off to the side that is a sony bravia 55 inch 4k smart tv it's a sony soundbar hooked up to it you can use this to watch movies and stuff like that as well on his nvidia shield pro then he has another separate gaming station here which is pretty cool a 32 inch vizio tv is his main display there he uses that to play on his ps4 and he also has a few arcade a uh, little arcade sticks going on there but altogether three total setups i love that desk very unique uh, really great job next up an extremely clean setup here really nice an overall white blue and black theme that ties together really nicely gotta love that minimalistic approach here that gets the job done at the LED strip behind the TV and the desk shining blue to accent everything and that goes really nicely against that navy wall and plus one for the Star Wars Prince. Getting him into his gear, he has an LG 34 inch curved monitor as his main display. For his peripherals, he has a Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard, again shining blue, coupled with his Corsair Gaming M65 mouse in white. Again guys, all about aesthetics here, awesome job. Off to the side, he has an Xbox One there, probably hooked up to the monitor as well. All on these nice IKEA desks, which again, as long as everything else will be in the description down below. And off to the left there, he does have some desk accessories, but it adds to the overall setup's look and does not overdo it at all. And inside his PC is an Intel i7 4790K, 16 gigs of RAM, and a Gigabyte GTX 970 G1 graphics card. Some NZXT liquid cooling, all inside his Fantex and through Lux case, which is unfortunately not really seen underneath his desk. And of course the setup looks great with no lights on, with just the LEDs shining bright. Overall, great job at keeping this nice and clean approach here. That looks awesome and makes for a really great setup. Now these setups are rare, but they are some of my favorites. I absolutely love wall mounted PCs, especially ones like this that look absolutely stunning hanging up. He has three 24 inch Asus monitors. They are aligned really nicely, which is probably awesome for gaming. And now into that rig, the main feature here is an i5 5930K CPU on an Asus Rampage Extreme 5 motherboard, two GTX 780 graphics cards, 16 gigs of RAM, and that case itself is the Ferros VM Rigid Charlie case. That liquid green cooling looks really nice. The neon is bright and really makes this rig stand out, even though it's already hanging on a wall. But why have one when you can have two in the same room? Absolutely nuts. Again, off to the side. Doesn't seem to be hooked up to anything, but it does seem to be powered on. Inside this Pharos VM Rigid Alpha case, he has the i7 4930K CPU on an Asus Rampage Extreme 4 motherboard, 32 gigs of RAM, and a Titan graphics card. Here is some Corsair liquid cooling. Absolutely nuts though. Two awesome wall mounted PC rigs here. Really cool submission. And back at it again with the clean setups here. Ignore me. 
But no, really guys, you guys are doing an awesome job nailing the simplistic look here. Very clean and productive looking. Uh, the monitor is an Asus VN279QL 27 inch monitor there, uh, wall mounted, cable managed very well. Just a single strip going down to hide the cable. Uh, just awesome job. LED lights around the desk. For the peripherals, it's a Logitech G602 wireless optical mouse with an HP Elite V2 wireless uh, keyboard. Nothing too fancy, but again, it's going to get the job done. Now into his PC, he has the i5-4460 CPU, 8 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and a GTX 970 graphics card inside his NZXT S340 case. Black and red, liking the theme here. I can't say it enough. I love how chill and simple this is. and plus one for pretty much no wires or cables visible anywhere. And each episode I like to have one setup that just blows your mind. And this one's gonna do it here because there is just so much going on, but deservedly so because he is a game producer and a music producer. So all this is put to great use and it looks awesome. Uh, for his peripherals, he has the Corsair Gaming Strafe RGB keyboard, a Razer Mamba Chroma mouse on a Razer Firefly mouse mat, and take note because those three peripherals are all pulsing and working together as a music visualizer there, which just looks awesome. Now, I'm not too familiar with the industry, but it seems like all this gear he's got going on is definitely going to help him get his job done. And just tons of displays here. Six total. Got the three down below with the uh, triple monitor lineup looking really nice. And a massive overhead with two monitors on the side of that. Speakers. Everything he's going to need, he's got here. And as I mentioned, you got to include a crazy setup. So I wanted to show this to you guys because this is just killing it. Looks really sick. And the game he's currently making is called Rewired 2. I will put more information to his stuff down below so you can check it out. But altogether, great job on having a sick setup that is crazy, but looks really cool. What's up, YouTube? Jerry Land here with Nova Tech and this is my setup for 2016. Running the show behind me is my late 2013 27 inch iMac. It's nothing special, it's just the base model, but it gets my 4K editing done and done quick. As for my peripherals, I'm rocking a Logitech MX Master and an Apple Magic Keyboard skinned out with a Laserwood Industries Real Wood Key Stickers. And both of those sitting on top of my glorious PC Gaming Extended Mouse Pad. On either side of my iMac, my ears are pampered with my Yamaha HS5s in the white colorway sitting on top of the ISO acoustic stands. Sitting on the left side of my desk, you'll see my voice over microphone of choice. I've got the blackout edition of the Blue Yeti, and on top of it is just a generic pop filter that I got on Amazon for like 15 bucks. And on the other side of my desk is my Uke. This is made by a company called Luna, and it's a half acoustic, half electric ukulele sitting on top of a generic ukulele stand from Amazon. So on top of my desk, as well as beside it, I have a couple lamps from the Renart series at Ikea. I think they look great and they definitely match my desk setup as well. Now what's powering those lamps is what's important. I got two BR30 LifeX bulbs in them and I couldn't be happier with these. You got thousands of colors to choose from as well as all different kinds of color temperatures if you want just some plain white light. And overall, I think they just add a lot of flair to your YouTube videos as well. Continuing with my lighting theme, you'll see my new LED strip. This is a strip from MPOW. I actually got it on Best Buy on sale and I highly recommend this one. I've been looking for a Wi-Fi enabled app controlled LED strip for a while, and this is the best one that I found. Finally, my desktop is actually a kitchen countertop from Ikea called the Carlby, and this is the walnut colorway, and it's resting on top of two Ikea Alex drawers in the white colorway. I got one that's the drawer series with a filing cabinet system, and the other one that's actually just a pull-out cupboard. As for my cable management, I like to keep it nice and clean, and it's on par. I'm rocking a generic Ikea Signum rack, and it keeps my cables nice and tidy and off the ground. As for the cardboard deer head behind me, I picked that up from Joann's and I threw some battery powered copper wire LED lights on that as well. Now as for these two Edison pendant lamps, these are the newest addition to my setup and they are my new favorite part of my setup. If you want to find out how I set those up and have them app enabled, make sure to check out my setup tour for 2016 on my own channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. My name is Jerry Land with Nova Tech and I'll see you in the next one. This video is brought to you by Nice, a company that lets you try really cool tech for free before you buy it. They have a ton of stuff on their app, so check the description down below on my invite code so you can download it and start saving yourselves tons of money today by trying their stuff for free. 
All right, guys, that'll do it for episode 38 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. And I'm gonna put Nobatech's channel in the description down below so you can go over, give him some love if you're really feeling his setup. Uh, make sure to also check the description for pretty much everything you're gonna wanna know about this video. Things such as like product links that you saw that you thought were cool, you can find it down below. As well as very simple instructions on how to possibly submit your setup to in a future episode of Room Tour Project. If you like this video, please go ham on that thumbs up button to show your support. You can hit me up and follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out on any future episodes of Room Tour Project, as well as some really cool tech reviews I got coming up really soon. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.